Coming up in today's show, we take a look at how autonomous robots are changing the world of cleaning. Hello and welcome to EC Television, the only show for the professional cleaning industry. We're going to start today's show by taking a look into the cleaning news that's been making the headlines this week. Firstly, the team at Sea Life London Aquarium have been carrying out its annual deep clean. All of the tanks have been spruced up to make sure they're sparkling and ready for some new additions arriving later this year. At the same time, there was a fish count to accurately determine just how many sea creatures live at one of the English capital's largest attractions. Facilities services provider ISS has partnered with the Refugee Talent Hub to support and accelerate the integration and employment of refugees there. The hub centres on an application where a smart algorithm matches refugees with employers such as ISS, which provide professional opportunities, training and support. GOM, the Dutch cleaning division of Facilicom, is now using virtual reality to train its employees. It says VR is a valuable addition to its practical training programmes. A company spokesman told EC Television staff can retrieve photos and information via any device and of course using virtual reality is a lot of fun. And finally, hospitals in the northern Indian city of Gauguin are replacing their white bed linen with rainbow-coloured alternatives in a bid to improve cleanliness and hygiene. All beds will have sheets in the same colour on each day of the week, and each sheet will have a day imprinted on it. This will ensure they will not be reused and will be washed when necessary. We'll be back shortly to explore autonomous cleaning and talk to industry innovators about the future of robots in the industry. See you soon. Welcome back to EC Television. With robotics becoming one of the hottest topics in the industry, we sent Michelle Marshall to find out more. Robotics used to be the stuff of science fiction, and we all know now how robotics has already proved its worth in so many industries. In professional cleaning, however, they are a relatively recent phenomenon. We decided to invite two of the manufacturers who have already launched machines onto the market here today to talk about autonomous cleaning, to discuss their latest innovations and, of course, to put their robots to the test. My name is Tom Richards. I'm a sales and account manager for industrial cleaning equipment. Robo 2 has a runtime of up to six hours with an optional battery set. The scrub width is 27 inches. The machine will clean 900 meters squared per hour. I'm Paul Martrano, I'm a field based application specialist for Diversity Care. The Swingo Bot 1650 has a cleaning width of 75 centimeters, a tank size of 56 litres. We also have a battery autonomy upwards of six hours using our quick exchange car. The new machine with, with the technology, we're able to map areas like you can see today in, in under 10 minutes. The Robo 2 will go a lot closer than any operative would dare to go to a wall, negating against any damage or neglect on the machine because it doesn't hit anything. The operator could have a map that finishes autonomously in a certain point. They can then take over, manually clean. They can then go on and put it onto an automated program on the other side. So we can actually make the operator work in unison with the automated part of the machine as well. The initial thing is actually trying to get the cleaners on board. The, the product is there ultimately to enhance their performance. So I think once you do that and you get the engagement from the operative and get them on your side, it's all about the training and how you show them how to use the product. The first thing we have to do with the cleaning operatives is let them know we're not there to take their jobs. So what we want to do is actually look at repurposing labour within the environment so that they can actually do more detailed work and do things that only a human can do. Key safety challenges we've come across are things like human traffic, movable objects, 
staircases and things like that. With the, the technology and the sensors and the drop sensors on the machine now, we've been able to negate the majority of those. The biggest problem we have on sites is actually people not being 100% sure on how to act around a machine. What we do find on site after about 30 seconds of familiarity, it's forgotten about and then it just becomes part of the cleaning team. It's clear that the technology on these machines is continuously evolving and that will make them ever more attractive to the professional cleaning market. It will be fascinating to see how they evolve and integrate. Robotics in the cleaning industry are certainly developing fast, but what do you think? Are robots the future of cleaning? Click the Vote Now button on the screen to let us know your thoughts. Well, that's all we have time for on this episode of EC Television. Please get in touch with us through Twitter and subscribe on YouTube or our website to make sure you don't miss an episode. Coming up next time, we talk to the Deputy CEO of Karcher about Industry 4.0. See you next time. Goodbye.